Fit MC. What's going on, everybody? This is Fit MC, and today we need to talk about something that's happened on 2B over the past week. Now, for the first time in over a year, someone's had their veteran Q status taken away. For those that don't know, having vet Q means you skip ahead of most of the people already waiting in line for the server. Even in this period of downtime, 2B still has a lot of players wanting to play on it, so there is still a queue in place. But before we get started on that, I want to give a quick update to the L. Rich MC situation. Now, from what we've seen, he has absolutely no plans on returning to 2B, despite his video getting a ton of views. Well, I guess your boy is 3-0 for big YouTubers now. Now then, for the past few months, many players have been attempting to lag the server using lag machines. Now, they each do it for their own reasons, but many players are affected by this. As someone who's stayed near spawn for most of the summer till now, low TPS really does not affect me. I mean, I was born in the lag. But anyway, someone attempting to build or explore new chunks, it's definitely a problem for them, and sometimes these lag machines will actually just straight up crash the server. Now Housemaster, the admin of 2B2T, has been dealing with these lag machines by physically removing them from the server. Even though 2B is anarchy, House has had a history of intervening in certain situations to fix problems that made the server unplayable, or getting rid of things that were truly game-breaking. Him getting rid of Elytras is a recent example of this. Now, from what I understand, Recently, a player by the name of Griff has had his veteran Q status taken away. Now, longtime fans of the channel and of 2B2T will remember last summer when Taraga Dude had his veteran Q status taken away due to his actions outside the server. But this is the first time a player's in game actions have caused their status to be taken away. Now, some players are upset and others feel it is justified. Now I'm going to give you both sides of this debate, and then also tell you how I feel about the entire situation. Now from here on out, I'm just going to be winging it, so hopefully I'm not rambling too badly. So without further ado, let's get started. Now to, under, to really understand why lag machines are sort of seen as like a problem, you have to go back to last summer, near the end of summer, I believe it was August or September, the Camping Rusher was still attempting to film series on the server, to film his videos on the server, even after we had already killed him. Uh, twice, once by myself, of course, at the Dark Souls Castle, and once by Jack the Ripper, but he kept playing on 2B2T, and Sun Wukan, who's a player on 2B2T, built a lag machine that effectively stopped Rusher from building a base and giving him more content on 2B2T. Now those of us that have played the server for a long time, we were used to long periods, I'm talking months, of incredibly low TPS. So those of us that had lived in that lag, we were used to it, so it didn't really affect us. But a lot of those YouTubers that came in, a lot of those casual players that Rusher brought in, they were never used to playing in high lag situations, so a lot of them got discouraged, and some people would argue that the lag machines are what caused Rusher to stop making content on 2B2T. It effectively ended his time on the server. So a lot of people saw them as an anti-YouTuber weapon, which, to Sanwu Khan's credit, that was a good success. It was a huge success. Not for me, of course, because I was born in the lag. A lot of players attempted to use lag machines against me in the fall of last year, but I managed to build all of Fitlantis despite the server being lagged constantly. Gotta love Efficiency 5 and Haste 2 beacons, am I right? But anyway, ever since then, we've had a lot of what I call San Wukan nobodies. San Wukan wannabes. San Wukan tryhards. A lot of players have attempted to build lag machines just because they thought it was cool, because they thought it would get them recognition on the server, but it ended up not really doing anything for them. If, if anything, players hated them, found them annoying, but they never really received any true notoriety. But recently, 
House Master has become more aggressive with removing lag machines. I mean, a lot of lag machines that were built by players in the past few months have been physically removed from the server, but no other real consequences were given. Well, apparently, House Master was just fed up with all these players trying to make lag machines, and so he took it a little step further. He actually took away the veteran Q status of this player named Griff. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have never even heard of this player before. The fact that he has Vet Q, I'm surprised because I've never heard of this guy before. But he must have logged in before June 1st of 2016 because he does have it. But anyway, he has had it taken away. And this is where a lot of the community is divided. Half the community believes that 2B2T is anarchy. There's no rules, which means if you want to lag the server, you should be able to lag the server. The other half of the community thinks that, well, if you lag the server, it's not playable, so are you really playing Anarchy in the first place? If you're threatening the server's actual integrity, is that truly a problem? And a lot of people think, yes, it is. So you have the community divided right now. And now, a lot of players have also likened this to Taragadude's situation. For those of you that don't know, last summer, Taragadude was part of a group of players that hacked the, the Minecraft YouTuber Landon MC's Skype account in real life. And by doing this, Landon, of course, was a good friend of the Camping Rusher, of Curtis, of a lot of the Archon YouTubers. And by doing this, by these players taking part in this Skype hacking, those at the top thought it was necessary to remove Taragadude's Q status for him taking a role in this, this Skype hack. And a lot of players argued that, well, even though what he did was wrong, it didn't actually happen on 2B2T, so should he receive punishment on a block game for something that happened, well, essentially in real life? And eventually his priority or his Q status was, you know, brought back. He got his vet Q status back and everything was just peaches, just peaches. But this is a new situation. This is the first time that a player has actually had their vet Q status taken away for in-game actions. No one has ever had it taken away for in-game actions before, and it really shows that House Master is starting to crack down on a lot of these people that are trying to physically harm the server, essentially. Now, a lot of players will argue, well, is this a, a ban, essentially? Well, no. It's not a ban, you're just getting rid of the veteran Q status. So even though the vet Q status has been taken away, he can still play on 2B2T. He either just has to pony up 20 bucks a month or just wait in line like most of the players have to do. So you're comparing apples to oranges. They're two completely different situations. The Taragadood situation versus this new Griff situation. Um, because one happened in real life and one happened through in-game actions. But a lot of, you know, my fans, especially my Discord, a lot of viewers have been asking, well, Fit, what is your opinion on this? The entire community has an opinion, but no one's heard what you have to say, Fit. And here's what I think about it. If you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. If you spend all day just trying to lag out a Minecraft server... Honestly, having your veteran Q status taken away is probably a good thing because you might choose to do better things with your life. You know, and I always have told people this. 2B2T is called the worst server in the world for a reason. It's anarchy, but it is a wretched hive of scum and villainy, and I've told this to many players. I play 2B2T because, yes, I enjoy it, but I also get something out of it. I'm able to do 2B2T YouTube, I'm able to provide you content, I'm able to make my time on the server worth it. I'm able to turn nothing into something. But there are players that will play on 2B2T every single day, wasting their lives. And to me, I feel that, you know, is unhealthy, it's a problem, and if him having his veteran Q status taken away if this causes him to get out there and actually enjoy life, then I'm all for it. But if you're actually threatening the physical integrity of the server, I think having your vet Q status taken away is justified. And if you want to attempt to lag the server, well, you better pay up because you're costing the server money every time you do lag it into crashing. 
That's just my opinion. The Taraga dude situation where he had his veteran Q status taken away, I was not okay with that because even though he did something wrong in real life, he didn't do anything in game, I feel, to have that status revoked. But in this case, building a lag machine to try and, to like, to try and crash the server, it's just dumb. It's a waste of your time. It's a waste of everyone else's time. And true 2v2T players are going to keep playing on the server even if you are trying to lag it. It's that simple. So like I said, you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. So if he had his vet Q status taken away, it should stay gone. But that's just my opinion. Of course, it's anarchy. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But a lot of people were asking how I felt about that. That is how I feel about it. I think as long as you are not trying to physically harm the server, you should be fine. You can hack, cheat, steal, lie, do whatever, just like always on 2B. But if you're actually trying to take down the server and you're doing it actually quite effectively, Housemaster needs to send a message and I think what he did was absolutely right. So I'm glad we've got that out of the way. That's all I had to say about this situation. Uh, and I apologize if there hasn't been that much 2B2T content lately. Like I said, the server is still kind of in its slow period, but with October coming around with November, with December, things will be picking up. And I see some events transpiring on 2v2t pretty soon. I mean, that's not foreshadowing, but I just... I just got a feeling, you know? I've always had that feeling. Sometimes you just got to run with it. But a lot of players don't realize that 2v2t is the worst Minecraft server in, ever for a reason, you know? The Camping Rusher and I, when we fought against each other in the summer of 2016, we really sort of romanticized this idea of the server. We really did make it seem better than it actually was, but over the past year or so, a lot of players have realized what 2B2T is actually like. And that's why a lot of people have just checked out completely. They don't play on 2B anymore. They don't watch 2B content anymore. People have realized it's a crapshoot. That's exactly what it is. But anyway, now I'm rambling, and I realize I'm rambling, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. So anyway, thank you so much to everyone for watching this video. That's just my opinion on the whole Q situation. Um, if you haven't already, and you'd like to, consider becoming a sponsor of the channel if you want to see more 2B2T videos and 2B2T content. Of course, I still stream all the time, but I am putting out more and more videos and stream clips, as you've probably noticed over the past few weeks. And that's it, everyone. So thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay alive out there. Bye-bye.